the most unique Shark Tank pitches ever. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the most unique Shark Tank pitches ever. Let's get right into it. As one of the most popular television shows in recent years, Shark Tank has showcased some of the most unique and innovative business pitches ever seen. From products that solve common problems, to those that are simply fascinating, the entrepreneurs who appear on Shark Tank are always looking for new ways to stand out from the crowd. Here are some of the most unique Shark Tank pitches that have ever aired. Number 1. Luminade Anna Stork and Andrea Sreshta presented their solar-powered inflatable light, Luminade, on Shark Tank episode 617. They created the product after experiencing the devastating earthquakes in Haiti in 2010 and being stuck in an earthquake in Japan in 2011. Luminade is a portable and rechargeable LED light that inflates for better light diffusion. The product was created to provide a simple and useful lighting solution for people without other options and can be used for camping or in crisis situations. Stork and Sreshta's company merges social impact and responsibility with commerce by donating one Luminade to a person in need for each one sold. The Sharks were impressed with the company's sales of $250,000 in the first year and over $1 million in the second year. They received offers from multiple Sharks but ultimately made a deal with Mark for $200,000 for 15% equity. Since appearing on Shark Tank, Luminade has expanded its retail presence and introduced new products such as the Luminade Renegade and the Packlight Spectra. The company has given away over 150,000 lights to people in the aftermath of various natural disasters. In November 2021, Luminade was acquired by Adventure Ready Brands for an undisclosed sum. Number 2. Over Easy Chicken Coops In episode 1314 of Shark Tank, Shet Baylor presented his Over Easy Chicken Coop kits in hopes of securing an investment from one of the sharks. The coops are ready to assemble and designed with simplicity and longevity in mind. Unlike most kits available on the market, which tend to be flimsy and manufactured overseas, the Overeasy Chicken Coops hit a sweet spot in the middle by offering a reliable and affordable solution for backyard chicken enthusiasts. Shet Baylor is not new to selling structures, as he is also the owner of Amish Country Gazebos, one of the largest gazebo manufacturers in the world. He acquired Overeasy Chicken Coop in 2020 from its previous owners in Colorado. The COVID-19 pandemic prompted him to make this acquisition as he noticed a growing trend of people looking for ways to be more self-reliant by raising backyard chickens. In addition to coops, his company also sells chicken runs, waterers, feeders, heating, lights, and other items for chicken husbandry. They even sell sheds in a box. The Overeasy Chicken Coop kits are available at hundreds of stores throughout the USA, including Tractor Supply, Ace Hardware, and Amazon, with prices ranging from $1,199 for a small coop to more for larger coops. Baylor's appearance on Shark Tank was primarily to seek help in expanding his business to the European market. During his pitch, Shet shared that the company had lifetime sales of $21 million and had generated $9 million in revenue year-to-date in the summer of 2021. However, supply chain issues and the rising cost of lumber had eaten into profits. He sought a $1 million investment in exchange for 4% of the company and talked about how his business was on a path to becoming the category king. The Sharks were not all sold on the idea, with Lori pointing out that quality wasn't the only selling point and that she was out. Robert questioned the lifespan of a chicken and felt it would take too long to figure out the business, and Kevin offered $1 million in debt for 4% equity. Mark was cash constrained and saw building a factory in Europe as expensive, so he was out. Damon noted that material cost was an issue, but offered $1 million for 25%. Ultimately, Shed agreed to a deal with Mr. Wonderful, but continued to pitch Robert, causing some chaos in the process. Number 3. Breathometer Breathometer is a smartphone breathalyzer app presented in episode 505 of Shark Tank by Charles Michael Yim. It consisted of an app and hardware, which is a small key fob that plugs into a phone's headphone jack. The app reads your blood alcohol level when you blow into the breathometer. The product costs $49 on pre-order, and was supposed to be available in the summer of 2013. Yim asked for $250,000 for 10% of his business, and the Sharks made offers. Mark Cuban put up $500,000 for 20%, and Robert, Kevin, and Lori teamed up to offer $750,000 for 30%. The deal went forward, but only Mark provided the money. In January 2017, Breathometer was required to offer refunds for its devices sold between 2013 and 2015 due to their inaccuracies. Mark Cuban claims he lost his million-dollar investment. Number 4. Chirps are you someone who enjoys munching on a crispy snack? Chips are a popular choice for many people globally, but have you ever considered trying ones made from crickets? Chirps, a startup established in 2017 by founders Laura DeSaro, Rose Wang, and Meryl Nato, offers a range of snacks that are made from cricket flour. 
This unique ingredient not only adds a nutty flavour to the snacks, but also provides a great source of protein and is environmentally sustainable. If you're looking for a snack that is both tasty and good for you, Chirp might just be the perfect fit for you. Number 5. Squatty Potty Promising to make one of the most awkward moments of the day much less uncomfortable, the Squatty Potty helps to elevate your feet and improve your bowel movements. The Squatty Potty was pitched by Bobby Edwards and has become one of the most successful Shark Tank pitches ever, earning over $30 million in annual revenue. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.